what I love about skating most is that there's always something new to learn. You know, no matter how far you get, no matter how far you push it, there's some other technique you can try or something new you can learn, and and it's all about how you do it individually. Skateboarding to me was the most amazing synthesis of just um, creativity, physical aggression, culture, you know, all the graphics of the boards, the stickers, everything about it, it sort of just embodied everything that excited me. Here it is, it's like individualistic, you know, uh, art form and, you know, tool of expression as well as, you know, all-terrain vehicle. It had sort of this kind of um, shared ideal as far as like doing art and stuff, which was a little hard to figure out what it is because it doesn't have any kind of academia to sort of attach it to. The second you started riding down the sidewalk on your skateboard, you realized this is me. I'm doing this. I'm controlling this board. And that opens up your perspective. You start looking at life more from an individual perspective. Like, this is my thing that I've created, it's mine, I own it. It was something new and something fresh, and, and I was already an outcast being a skater, and so I wanted to follow that vibe all the way. Well, I never felt like I fit in socially, you know? When I found skateboarding, it was kind of just magical. Something magical about it. And you met a lot of really cool, like-minded people. So, you know, it wasn't hard to like get around and and um, do collaborative projects with, with folks and just like be with each other. You know, and it, that was inspiring. It's in itself just hanging out. Like we, you know, just hanging out at a curb doing slappies all night, talking about didn't matter what. You know. That I think somehow that that translates into, you know, the the things we make. I think skateboarding attracts creative people because a lot of people that are creative don't fit in with normal societal groups. I didn't know anybody in my high school. I was below the nerds and geeks. I was a skateboarder. I know people can't understand that these days, but there was one other skateboarder in my school, and as soon as the bell rang, we were out. If you wanted to do it, it was like almost like a, a real lifestyle choice. It was almost like coming out of the closet or something, because you had to accept the fact that people were going to beat you up, and that you were going to get spit on, and that somehow you were going to hang out with people that were on like the fringe of their kind of community, socially. A lot of my skater friends were kind of fucked, really, you know? Pretty, an probably angry. I don't, you know, I just think that's part of being a teenager, but uh, it's interesting that how a lot of skaters are, it's like really creative or really destructive. A lot of those kids that are now level-headed thinking machines who were destined to be fucking eight state killing sprees because they had no outlet for their feelings and all that shit. So they pick up skateboard and skate, they meet a couple other guys and skate, they got a crew. It was like punk rock, you know. Punk rock saved so many lives. This gave these kids who would probably committed suicide with that punk rock. And then skateboarding was the same way. I was just skateboarding. That's what I did. Like I'd go out, you know, two in the morning, like me and Rollins and other people, we'd be going down Wisconsin Avenue carrying tin sheets of plywood on our shoulders, you know, borrowing them from construction sites and just you know, this building making our world. You could be, uh, you know, uh, uh, good looking, ugly, you know, black, white, green, purple, any color, it made no difference. You know, wear any kind of clothes, it was all about skateboarding. You, you wear whatever the fuck you want, you draw on your board, you create your own little world. It was totally out of step with sports and music and art and everything. Just like individual do-it-yourself mentality, 